Welcome to SOLIDWORKS. In this lesson, we will show you how to make a paper towel holder. And in this example, also how to do exploded view, insert parts from toolbox, add material and simple rendering in PhotoWorks. Let's start by creating a new document. Click on New Document icon from Standard Toolbar. Open Part and then OK. From the Future Manager Design Tree, select Top Plane and open the sketch. Select circle. Let's mark dimension this circle. Let's say 200 millimeters. Zoom to fit and exit the sketch. Go to Futures, extrude both base. For the depth type 35 millimeters. OK. Select this space and open the sketch. Select normal to view. And let's make the circle from the center point. Smart dimension. Type 10 millimeters. OK. Exit the sketch. And select extruded cut. From the end condition, select through tall. Select OK. Go to our isometric view. Now let's add some fillets. Select fillet command. For the radius type 5 millimeters and select this edge. Select OK. Now select this space and open the sketch. Select normal to view. Go to corner rectangle. For, for the rectangle type, select center rectangle. Let's multi dimension. and exit the sketch. Go to extruded cut from the depth type two and a half millimeters. And select OK to accept. Now let's add some fillets in these corners. Select fillet command from the fillet radius Type 2 millimeters. Select OK. Go to isometric view. Go to rebuild. And now let's save this part. Go to file. Save as, go to make, make folder, paper towel holder, and part name, enter base. Save. Okay, let's open a new document. Part, OK. Select the top plane and open the sketch. Go to corner rectangle, 
select center rectangle for type smart dimension type 40 millimeters on both both sides exit the sketch and go to extrude both base for the depth type 2 millimeters and select OK now let's add some holes go to hole wizard for the hole type select countersink from the sander select ISO type this one size M5 K truth all select for position for this hole select a bottom view and click on this face now let's position this click on this dot and the center of origin holding control and add relations constant and select OK OK again and now we have our countersink hole OK let's do it again this time for the size we're gonna choose M3 Select position, select bottom face again, select this face. Now let's position these holes. Click smart dimension, type 5, five millimeters from each side. Now select this point and hold control and select this point and end relation hor horizontal. Let's mark the measure this. And now sketch is fully defined. Select OK. And now we have four holes more. Let's add some fillets. Two millimeter radius. Select OK. Okay, let's save this part. Go to File, Save as, type Plate. Let's open a new part. Go to Top Plane, open the sketch. Select circle, smart dimension, and type 10 millimeter. Exit the sketch, go to extrude both base, and for the depth type 300, and 
Select OK to accept. Go to zoom to fit. Now go to front plane and open the sketch. Click on normal to view. Click on center line. Apply the origin. Okay. Now click on point command and add point on this center line here and here. And then let's mark the dimension. Type 50 millimeters. And exit the sketch. Go to isometric view. Select plane. For the first reference point, select this point here. For the second reference point, open the tree and select top plane. We got the message here, it's fully defined. We got our plane right here. Select OK to accept. Let's open the sketch in this plane. Select this plane and Click on sketch. Let's make a circle. Select smart dimension. Type 5 millimeters. And exit the sketch. Go to front view, select this plane and hide. Now go to the right plane and open a sketch. Go to normal to view, select point command, right here. Select Smart Dimension, and type 10 and a half millimeters. And now the sketch is fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. Go to the front view. Go to Sketch tab and select 3D Sketch. Then select Spline command and find this circle here, this center point of the circle. Click OK, approximately here, then slightly rotate and find this point here, go to the front view, click here and end this point here, select. Ok, let's smart dimension this spline.
and now the sketch is fully defined. Exit the sketch. Go to isometric view. Now go to the Futures tab and select Speed Pose Base. From the profile, select Circle and for the path, select this spline. Select Zoom to Fit and now we, he we see the preview of the spline. Okay. Go to Options and for the Orientation Twist type select Keep Normal Constant. And select OK. Now we have our spline made in the future fit. Go to Front View. And let's hide these sketches. Select this sketch and control sketch 4. Select hide. Let's draw a sketch on this face. Select circle. Let's mark dimension. Type four and a half millimeters and exit the sketch. Go to extruded cut and for the depth type fifteen millimeters. Select OK. Go to isometric view. Let's add some fillets. For the radius of the fillet, type one millimeter. Select this edge and also this edge. And select OK. Go to the isometric view. Click Rebuild and let's save this part. Go to File, Save As, Save As, Holder. Now let's open a new document. Click on New Document icon from the Standard Toolbar, click on Part and OK. Open sketch in the front plane, click on center line, draw a vertical center line, select the line command, smart dimension, type 20 millimeters. Here 5 millimeters. Go to circle command and make and draw a circle. Smart dimension this circle 30 millimeters and smart dimension from this point to the center of the circle 15 millimeters. Again let's draw another circle. Let's smart dimension. Type 15 millimeters. Now select this circle and control. And this circle. And for relations, select make tangent. Okay. Let's do it again. Select this circle and hold control key. And select this point and make coincident. Okay. 
Now let's trim. Select trim command. From the options, select trim to closest. Select here. Select here. Here. Select OK. Select the line tool. And connect these two lines. OK. Now exit the sketch and select Revolve Boss Base. SOLIDWORKS already. Select Axis of Revolution. We have here Revolve Type, One Direction, Mean Plane, Two Directions, and Angle, Fully, 360 degrees. OK, select OK. Go to the front view and select fillet. For the fillet radius, type 2 millimeters and select this edge. OK to accept. Let's add some small fillet on this edge also. Type 0.5 millimeter. Select this edge. And then OK. On this space, open a sketch and go to Normal to View. Let's draw a circle from the center, origin. Smart dimension the circle. Type 10.2 millimeters. Go to isometric view and exit the sketch. Go to extrude cut command and type fifteen millimeters for draft angle, enter two degrees angle. Now let's check this. Okay. Let's rebuild and save this part. File, save as, name it cap, and save. OK. Next, let's make assembly. Go to the new and open assembly. From the part assembly to insert, select base, then go to insert components, and before we select this part, select this, keep visible. That means this window open window visible and we don't need to click again on insert components. Let's select holder. Let's select cap and plate. Now click on keep visible and select OK. Go to the front view. Now we have or all four, four elements. Let's add some mates. Click mate command. And select this face, cylindrical, and this, and make it concentric. Select OK. Select this face and this face. 
and coincident. Okay. Select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face. Select OK. This face and this face. Select OK. And now select parallel mate. Select this face and this face. Select OK. Go to isometric view. Okay. Now select this face and this face. Select OK. And make coincident. Select OK. And OK to accept. Now we have all assembly in mates. Next, we are going to add a screws in here using a SolidWorks toolbox tool. In the right, go to the design library left click and click on toolbox we got the information toolbox is not added in click on, on add in now click on toolbox and open standards we have here various standards unsymmetric din iso we click on iso standard and go to bolts and screws open bolts and screws and select self tapping screws in this window we can see a preview of the screws hex socket counter seat head screw let click on this and hold and drag it to the window we saw the preview and put it right here. From the size, select 4.8 millimeters. From the weight, select 13 millimeters. And select OK. Click Escape. Now let's add some mates. Click on bottom view, drag it on the center of our part, click on mate command, select this face and this face and make it concentric ok now select this face this edge and select coincident on the standard mates and select this face clip mate alignment we need to do that ok and now click ok and select Add finish mate. Now select OK to accept. Let's do it again for rest of the holes. Go to design library. For this one size will be 2.9 millimeters and the late will be 9 and a half 
millimeters and OK. Select escape. Let's go to the bottom view. Hold left mouse click and drag it right here. OK. Click on mate and select this face and this face here. Select OK and click on this edge and select coincident and select this face. Let's flip mate alignment. OK. Select add finish mate and OK. Now let's do some linear component pattern. Click on linear component pattern on the assembly toolbar. For direction 1 select this edge. For direction 2 select this edge and reverse direction. For the components to pattern select this group. For the spacing, from the number of instances type 2, for the spacing type 30 millimeters in both directions and select OK. Now we have all four screws. OK, go to isometric view and let's save this assembly. Go to File, Save As, Assembly 1, Paper, Towel Holder. Click Save. Now we are going to show you how to make Exploded view. Click on exploded view icon on the assembly standard toolbar and select this face. We have a coordinate system here. Select this epsilon y coordinate and move it sixteen approximately 60 millimeters. Now click on this face and select Y direction here and also select Oh no, let's delete this. Okay, let's select first screws. And then select coordinate. OK. Then select this plate. OK. And for the left, folder. And make it OK. Go to isometric view. Now we have our exploded view. Go to the configuration manager. Open this and explode view. Click on the right click and select animate collapse. Now we have our animation. We can do whatever we want in this animation controller. Let's play back mode loop and click play. Or playback mode reciprocate. OK. Now let's add material. 
click on this face and open a part. In Future Manager, Manager Design Tree, click on the Material icon. Select, right click and edit Material. We have here SOLIDWORKS materials, so we choose Woods and Beach. Select Apply and Close. Now our part is made from wood. Go to the Native View and Save. Go to Window and go to Base. Again, Material, Edit Material, Select Wood, Select Beach, and Select Apply and Close. Select Save. Now, let's open a plate and do the same. Edit Material, from Steel, select Plain carbon steel. Click on apply and close the window. Save this part and for the holder we can do it like shortcut. Go to the right click and from this customize select plain carbon steel. Select save. OK. Let's back to our assembly, click Rebuild and select Save. Now we have our paper towel holder. Earlier we said we are going to do a simple rendering in PhotoWorks. OK, let's go to Tools. Add-ins and find photo works. Select and click OK. Now we have in our standard toolbar photo works. Click on photo works icon and click on render. Now we have our part rendered and that will be all. Thank you and have a nice day.